See all these wasps around here? I used to be so terrified of these things when I was out here. But I've been out here, you know, every single day practically since we started this garden around these, these wasps, bumping up against them, and I haven't been stung once. And what they're doing is they're going through and they're hunting. Uh, they're looking for caterpillars. Um, they're feeding on, on all sorts of stuff, and, and they're helping us out. So these are the kind of allies that we have in our garden. This is a bee here that's going through and helping with pollination. Um, there's bad bugs in here too. I mean, I see right there is another um, stink bug nymph. Um, but if I were to spray pesticide on here to kill, you know, the, the stink bug, there's an adult of the stink bug. I don't know if y'all can see this at all, but um, if I were to, to spray pesticide on here to kill those, well, it's going to kill all these wasps and these spiders that are under here and stuff too. And that may sound like a good thing to a lot of people, but to me it doesn't because now all of the work that these wasps are doing and these spiders are doing, I've got to start finding a way to get that work done. And right now they're just doing the work for me for free and I don't have to talk them into it at all. But if I, um, you know, if I start using pesticide, now I have to be the one to manage the insects and, and I, I want to keep a hands-off approach. So um, sometimes, you know, we'll get an infestation of, of bugs here and there, but we'll let nature correct itself. And it's happening because look right here is an orb weaver spider that set up shop because it knows that there's all these other bugs around here. So now they're starting to fall in here and then nature is gonna start correcting itself. And that's what we try and do with our garden is allow nature to do that. And we do help out. Like if I, um, if I, if I spot a bug and I'll throw it into one of these webs, you know, like that's, it's a fun game that the kids like to, to do to, to feed the, the spider and, and watch it eat. So oh, there's, I'm gonna disturb her. They're everywhere. I don't even know how many of these orb weavers that we have now, but they're everywhere. And they may look scary, but these are some of the best garden helpers you can have in your garden. I could probably handle her and I wouldn't get bitten. I've not gotten myself to actually do it yet, but I could probably could. Even if she did bite me, it wouldn't be a big deal because it'd be equivalent to an ant bite basically because she has no venom that can hurt me. And um, she's pretty docile. So, so we have these everywhere. I say she because if you see one on a web like this, it's a she. The males are much smaller and, um, and they get eaten once they mate. So that's why we've named all of these Nelly Furtado because the song Maneater, that was the inspiration behind that. Uh, so we call them Nellies. So the kids always ask how many Nellies do we have or where are the Nellies? And so, so we have these all around the garden and they help us out by, I mean, she's eating something right now. It's a, um, I think that's a ladybug. So, you know, they're not, they're not foolproof. I mean, they, sometimes they get the good bugs too, but, but they're getting a lot of bad bugs too. There's mosquitoes that get caught up in here. There's, um, I'm all the time seeing different, you know, uh, bad bugs in their webs and they're, and they're helping us out so that I don't have to be out here on patrol looking for them. Uh, we've got another Nelly over there up against the fence over by the comfrey and we've got, we've got them everywhere.